Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this lecture, I am going to tell it to you what basically electrolysis is. So electrolysis is basically a combination of two words that is electro and electro means electrolyte. Lysis means decomposition or breakdown of a compound. So what basically electrolyte is? Electrolyte is basically the compound which has to ionize and conduct electricity in aqueous or molten form by means of chemical change. So electrolyte is uh, an ionic compound. Um, if we will say an ionic compound of sodium chloride and you can see that in aqueous it is going to produce sodium and chloride ions and in when it is going to be melted and if we are going to heat this sodium chloride so it will become ionize so if we will talk about these ions so these ions are then responsible for the conduction of electrolysis so ionic compound can conduct electricity when it is in aqua state or it is going to be melted why because at solid state in sort of sodium solid chloride and solid sodium chloride in, in solid sodium chloride Okay, because in solid sodium chloride, ions are fixed to their position, so they are not free to move to conduct electricity. But while in aqueous or in molten state, this when we will heat this, we will say that this is the molten state. So in molten state, we can say the ions are present sodium and chloride. So it is basically sodium chloride is going to ionize in aqueous form to give sodium and chloride ion and sodium and chloride ion is formed in molten form. So these ions are then responsible to conduct electricity. So this solution in water or in molten form is called as electrolyte. Now we will come towards the definition. When an electric current is passed through an ionic compound, the compound is decomposed in a chemical reaction. This is called electrolysis. Ionic compound will conduct electricity in molten form or in aqueous form. So whenever we are going to have a discuss about the ionic compound in electrolysis, it means definitely it is going to conduct electricity in two states. It can be in molten form or it can be in aqueous form. So I would like to give a better understanding by using this equation. When an electric current, first of all, it this ionic compound will be in uh, molten form or in aqueous form. When we will discuss about this in molten form, sodium chloride is going to be ionized in molten form and this is from sodium and chloride ion. So when an, when an electric current is passed through, the, through an ionic compound in this form, when they are ionized, so these ions are then decomposed. This sodium chloride is decomposed. Is basically the reaction will be into sodium and chlorine. Chlorine gas. So it is going to be decomposed in a chemical reaction. This is called electrolysis. Sodium chloride is going to be decomposed in sodium and chlorine into its separate individual components. Then we will say this is called as the uh, process of electrolysis. So again I am going to repeat when an electric current is passed through an ionic compound, the compound is decomposed. This compound is decomposed in a chemical reaction. This is called as electro electrolysis. So I hope so that you have learned it very well. What is electrolysis? See you in next lesson. Till then, consistency is key of success. Allah Hafiz.